today I'm going to be feeding my home's pinchback tortoises some white river shrimp. Here are the shrimp I get them from the Saraga International Grocery Store. And I'm not even sure if they're well caught, but as you can see they're frozen. What you want to do is really break them up um, when you first get them so they're easily put into portions. And I'm just going to defrost them. Now the shrimp have been defrosted and you can see they you know, are full head on shrimp and the um, home cinchbacks that we're going to feed these guys to will eat everything. And we're going to feed the seven home cinchbacks that I have the shrimp. These are one of their favorite foods that I have found and Perhaps the most important thing when you're trying to get your hinge back to eat, especially one that is quite dehydrated, is to simulate a rainfall. So that's what we're going to do now. I've watched as my hinge backs come out when I make it quote unquote rain. They will walk around their enclosures and they will often point their heads and noses down to the substrate and swing their heads very gradually and deliberately back and forth looking for anything else that came out because of the rain. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, stimulate them to come out and be active just like would happen in the forest and at that same time other animals, invertebrates, crayfish, slugs, millipedes would would come out and forage after a rain and that's why they're out and about and that's why I think I've had a lot of luck acclimating hingebacks just making sure we understand that these tortoises really react to rain and water. And all I'm gonna do is just use the watering can and just make it rain in the enclosure. The same thing over here. Notice all the vegetative cover that these two have. This is a pair. I'm just gonna make it rain. Same thing with this enclosure. Small female, we're just gonna make it rain. She's hiding right now, but this will stimulate her activity. And finally one more, just gonna make it rain. Okay, now we'll get the shrimp. So I use paper plates and you know, we're just going to put two or three shrimp on a paper plate and give that to the tortoises and then we'll see how they eat them. Oh, well look, see that rain has caused this little homiana to come out and start exploring. And there she is and that's exactly what we want her to do. So I put the shrimp right there. And we'll see if she comes over and gets them. And we're gonna do this again for some of the other ones. You can see that head right in the middle of the screen. That is the female, and we're gonna give her some shrimp. Let's, um, I'm gonna put it right near her. So she has first crack at it. There you go. And then these two are out after the rain. The big female is taking some bites on the cuddle bone and the male is soaking in the water dish. Okay, now the big male rugged. I call him rugged because he just um, had a really bad experience 
in his lifetime. Not sure what happened there. Maybe a burn. But he's healthy otherwise. And he loves to eat shrimp. Checking back a little later, and as you can see, there isn't much left. Although there may be uh, another whole shrimp underneath her. But um, they love shrimp. And they eat it all. Tail, exo exoskeleton, heads, all the sharp spiny parts. They don't seem to have any problems with it. Although, yeah, that's the head. She wants to eat it. And to catch you up on this girl, she sees the shrimp. She's quite shy, so she's just gonna wait out there uh, for a little bit longer. And uh, we'll check on her later in the day. This is what hingebacks do, particularly Holmes hingebacks, after you make it rain. They're active, they're out, they're inquisitive. Just to tell you a little bit about this group, they have been in captivity since 2014, have grown significantly since that time, have undergone a wide range of treatments by vets before I had them. So you can see she is, she's looking, she's investigating. She wants to find a bug crawling on the forest floor. She's checking everything out. And she's like, can I eat that? I'm not even sure what, there's a piece of cuddle bone and then maybe a uh, leaf but you know that's what they do this is their natural behavior and if you get them hydrated and, and you get them free of parasites you know this is what they're gonna do for you you know um, I only have one 13 watt bulb on this entire enclosure there you go see she's looking for food she's looking for food what is down there what can I eat it just rained oh here's some cuddle bone yep that's what she's going after so who knows, maybe this scrub's gonna lay another clutch. That'd be exciting. We got three eggs from her uh, about three weeks ago. And that's pretty awesome. We're super excited. So the shrimp are being eaten. You can see this guy is leaving the heads and the tails, um, but sometimes they'll eat those, as you saw in the other shot, they'll eat those right away and once he gets off the other shrimp, I'm sure that other male will move in and eat some too. Um, like I said, this is not the ideal situation. Three uh, homiana in a relatively small enclosure. However, they do well together. I give them plenty of food every day. And they're all gaining weight um, and are quite healthy. And if I move them to another enclosure by themselves, Inevitably, that animal just doesn't do well. So this is working for me. And I'll continue to, uh, to work, uh, work it out this way and um, go from there. So thanks, everyone, for watching this little bit on the Holmes hingeback tortoises and how I feed them shrimp and also how I stimulate their appetite by making it rain before I feed them.